Hey, hey, family. It's your girl, Serena Elizabeth, and I am back, back, back in the kitchen, whipping you up another yummy, delicious uh, recipe. (laughs) This is restaurant-worthy braised short ribs over cheesy grits. Okay, so it sounds like a mouthful. Just imagine it being a mouthful because this is it. So first, of course, you need to clean your meat. I clean my meat with cold water and vinegar. All right, what I also did after the meat was thoroughly cleaned, I went ahead and just basically um, seasoned it with just salt coarse salt and I just let that sit for a while before I started to work with it to my short ribs I am adding black pepper I am adding garlic powder onion powder and body uh, complete seasoning if you have it and then what I am going to do is just make sure that my seasoning is well mixed with all of the meat. So as you can see, I don't have my seasonings all measured out. I talked to you guys about, you know, letting your ancestors be your guides and just feeling and cooking with your soul because that's how it tastes so damn good. You need to be cooking with your soul. So you just want to eyeball it, whatever feels right with, for you, just you know we're not using uh any salt so we brine the meat with some salt we're not adding any additional salt so you can definitely um season as you feel comfortable with the seasonings that we're using so once you do that you want to sit it aside go ahead and heat up your cast iron skillet or pan or whatever it is that you're using I am using my cast iron Dutch oven. To my Dutch oven, I am adding a little bit of olive oil and I am heating up that oil. Once I can start to smell it, that's when I know it's hot enough and I'm going to go in with my short ribs. This part, we are just basically browning the meat on all sides. So we're going to let that go for a little bit. We want to make sure it's nice and brown on each side before we flip. So I would say maybe roughly about four to minutes or so. Um, Test it. If it looks like this when you flip it over, that is good enough. As you can see, that's a nice golden crust on there. And we just want to do that to all of our sides. When we're done, our meat should be looking like this. Once our meat is all nicely brown like this on each side, we just want to remove it from the pan. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of tomato paste. And then you can't cook 
short ribs without adding you in some red wine red wine is going to give it body it's going to give it so much flavor um you just every time you're cooking ribs or red meat um find ways to integrate the red wine it really just does something else to it so you want to go ahead and add some red wine basically to deglaze the pan and then you want to let that reduce a little bit and when you're cooking with wine you want to cook with a wine that you actually like to drink because that flavor is going to be in the food. So if it's not a good flavor for you when you're drinking it, it's not gonna be a good flavor for you when you're cooking with it. So now that that's reduced, we wanna go back and put our meat back in our pan. And in my instance, Dutch oven. I haven't cooked in so long. It was really good to break out some of my cooking tools and get heavy duty all up in and through my kitchen so i was excited to pull bessie <laughs> off the shelf and so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead in with some beef broth i would say that's about a cup or so And to this, we are gonna add in some of our fresh seasoning. So that was uh, fresh thyme, fresh parsley, um, basil, and uh, garlic, onion, and we are going to let that go. To this we are also going to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce people sleep on the Worcestershire the Worcestershire is good <laughs> so you want to incorporate all of those flavors always taste as you're cooking and then I'm going to cover that baby up and let it go for a little bit and throw her in the oven. So you guys know that I don't cook with recipes. <laughs> Not that I'm against them. I just be cooking. <laughs> and if I find a recipe or if I, you know, see something that I like and I want to try, I will cook with it. So I am definitely not opposed to recipes. I just be freestyling. It's just whatever I feel like I'm in the mood for, I go ahead and make it do what it do. So um, sometimes when you see me cooking and I, I am not like all organized with my um, seasonings and all of that, it's because I just was in the mood for something and I was cooking it and wanted to record it for you rather than having already pretty much thought out everything that I'm going to use. So I say all that to say <laughs> is that I did add beef broth, but I also wanted to add this um, other, um, it's better than beef um, like seasoning or like a bouillon. Um, and so I realized that and I'm like, man, I didn't add that in there. And that is a really, really, really good like broth and like uh, a seasoning um, booster or enhancer. So I wanted to take it out, see how tender it was, test it as far as like flavor goes. So I went ahead and added in a little bit more tomato paste and I added in my better than bouillon beef seasoning so I want to go ahead and incorporate that into 
the broth that is already cooking. This is how your meat should be looking. And you don't want to add your, your uh, carrots in too soon. So about halfway or three quarters of the way of your meat being done, you want to go ahead and add in some carrots. Give it some color. I went ahead and put in some rainbow carrots. But whatever you have will do. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the oven on 350 for about another 30 minutes or so. So while my um, ribs were back in the oven, I went ahead and whipped up a pot of some cheesy grits. Um, you can whip up any kind of grits you want, whether you use cheese or not, but I need cheese in my grits. I don't need it, but I love to have cheese in my grits. And for this particular recipe, cheesy grits work really well, but I didn't, you know, show you how to cook grits i'm showing you how to cook short ribs okay <laughs> so you're gonna make you some cheesy grits the best way you know how then you are going to put a good amount of those grits into your serving dish and you are going to plate your short ribs on top of your grits now while you weren't looking, <laughs> I did go ahead and add a little bit of barbecue sauce to my ribs. This wasn't a um, homemade barbecue sauce, um, but which you could very well make with just some ketchup and brown sugar and a little bit of seasoning. Um, this was actually one that I had in the refrigerator. So I just put a little bit on there to give it a little extra umph and so that is my end result my beautiful restaurant worthy braised barbecue short ribs over cheesy grits this was absolutely delicious and i hope that you attempt to try this recipe if you've made it this far through the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's grow this channel. Let's grow this tribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.